This is Twit. What's your involvement with the Hiawatha Web Server Project? Uh, I'm the author, the one and only author of uh, the Hiawatha Web Server. Great. And why did you t- explain the origins? I mean, why did you? Why do we need another web server? Why did you start this project? Um, I started in 2002. Uh, before that, I did a lot of programming in uh, uh, Borland Pascal uh, Assembler, and I wanted to learn the C language. So uh, the best way to learn it is to actually do it. So uh, I wanted to start a new project. Uh, at that time, I maintained a lot of uh, Linux servers. I was a student at the uh, Delft University of Technology back then. Uh, I maintain, maintained uh, a lot of uh, Linux servers for uh, for friends. Um, they used it to uh, share a single internet connection uh, within their students' homes. Um, and uh, it was a lot of uh, uh, not very advanced hardware. And... Uh, it, it used they used it as a router, but also wanted to use it uh, as a web server. Uh, so they brought uh, with only one megabyte or a few megabytes and a three uh, uh, eighty six um, six sixty uh, eighty six uh, processor. Um, so to install the Apache web server on it, uh, it, it took away a lot of performance of the uh, router functionality. So I, I started to write a very small and simple web server that could only do the get HTTP method. Um, so they had a, a web server on it and, and could still use it as a as a router for their internet connection. And that's how it started. Uh, I, I never expected it to become the web server it is now. I uh, Well, only for uh, simple HTTP tasks. But I started uh, experimenting, did some uh, experimentation with it on uh, on on, uh, on security. Uh, um, I, I liked programming uh, to have a a, a hobby, um, and that's uh, how Hiawatha grew to what it is now. Yeah, that's great. So it was really, yeah. We talk a lot about how open source projects. Um, you know, many, many of them are people scratching their own itch. So they just want, they have a, in this case, it sounds like your itch was you wanted to learn C and yeah. uh, had an interesting uh, uh, problem you wanted to solve. Um, and you just went after it. I think that's great. How how would you say that Hiawatha compares to some of the more popular web servers that are out on the market today, like Apache and uh, Nginx? And uh, the one that the, the lightweight one that I'm most familiar with, which yeah. is Light TPD. Lighty. Yeah. How yeah. do you say okay. it? Light. Light. That that's. Lighty. I think the is the official name for it. But okay. But, Sounds good. Uh, well, the one of the main differences in how uh, Hiawatha um, handles uh, requests is that uh, Apache. Uh, wants to do everything as fast as possible, uh, accept all all the requests uh, uh, and they, they are sent to it. Um, and the idea in Hiawatha is that Hiawatha will only serve your uh, you uh, as a client if you behave nicely. So you have to send uh, a valid request. Um, and of course, Apache will also ignore uh, uh, invalid requests, but in Hiawatha, there can be a penalty. You can be banned. You can be blocked. Um, you have to behave nice as a client. Send correct HTTP requests. Uh, don't flood the server. Uh, don't do anything weird. Or you have in Hiawatha the, the configuration option to, to ban such clients. Um, so in Apache, Nginx, uh, as I see it, performance, speed comes first, uh, and in Hiawatha, uh, security comes first. So that's that's one of the main differences. 